What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Waifu Ju video. Today, we are taking a look towards MLB The Show 23, a game that which we know nothing about at this point, but we do know it's going to come out. That's about it. Uh, we hope it's going to be better than 22, but with a new game comes new legends, and we're probably going to lose a couple as well. But in losing, hopefully the ones we lose are not too bad, and the ones we gain are amazing. There's plenty of great legends that can go into this game, such as A-Rod, Derek Jeter, Manny Ramirez, Barry Bonds, Sammy Sosa. The list goes on and on, but I'm focusing today on some of the cards you may or may not know as much about that could be new legends, and I would still love. They would all be amazing cards in their own right, and let's get into the list. And starting off right away, we have a Joe DiMaggio, another Yankee, just like Mickey and obviously some of the other greats that we have in the game. DiMaggio will be amazing. This card art was made by MLB Card Art 20 or MLB 22 Card Art. Some of these guys, you'll be able to see their Twitters directly above me. So go throw them follows if you guys like random card arts made like this. Some of these are also by Ange and they're more so the attributes. So shout out to Ange and all the card art people. You do amazing work and we appreciate you very much. Joe DiMarzio, 56 game hitting streak would be insane. This card would probably be one of the best we've ever gotten. Joe's one of the best players of all time. Kind of surprising we don't already have him in the game. He would probably be one of the bigger reveals just because of how great he was historically. So this would probably be like one of those collection type of Randy Johnson live series collection type cards that you would see. And that would be really cool. He'd be really, really good. And another Yankee legend to the list. Moving on over to the next legend that would be sick. Shout out to uh, Z Sheen Customs. He made this like a bunch of different Adrian Beltre's we could possibly have. Adrian Beltre would be really, really solid as a card. He would play third, probably some first base, maybe some shortstop also. He would be an absolute bomber of a hitter. Obviously, he has 3,000 hits, and he's had some insane months and insane seasons where he's just been really, really, really good. He's won a gold glove, too, over there. As you can tell with all these cards, he's had a little bit of everything. He had a great prime. He had a great career. He's one of those all-time favorite players. People just loved Beltre. He was a very fun and energetic guy over there in Texas. It'll be sick to have him back in the game. It's probably been about four, five, six years since we've had him in the game now, so it's about time to bring him back, all right? Come on, SDS. Next up, also by Z Sheen Customs, we have Carlos Beltran. Beltran would be awesome. Obviously, this is like a progression one here, so this starts out low. He winds up getting a 99. 99 Carlos Beltran would be one of the best cards we get. Again, switch hitting outfielder who would be really similar, just a toned down version of like a Mickey Mantle. He's a five-tool player. He used to steal back in the day. 30-30 club guy. He ran the base well. He was a great defender, yet for a lot of power. Carlos would be awesome. I don't know if they'll let him in because of the whole Astros situation, but if they do and they look over that, he would be amazing. He played for a lot of teams too, so shout out to the theme teams that he could make great, and Beltran would be really cool. Another great card we could have in the game would be Nomar Garcia Para. Nomar was a crazy underrated shortstop. I mean, not at the time. It was him, Jeter, and A-Rod that were the big three of shortstops. He's kind of lost his his name value over the years just because of how big Jeter and A-Rod got not only in the game and for longer, but outside of the game as well. So Nomar kind of lost a little bit of namesake, but he was absolutely just as good, if not better than those guys during the time. And he was a Yankee killer and a really, really good Red Sox. He would be an amazing card to have in this game. You know, the more shop, the short stops, the better. I mean, they, they kind of come hard to find. So give me no more. He'd be a stud. Another great one would be Frank Robinson. People forget about Frank Robinson. And it, maybe it's just because we're younger. And some people are younger, like myself, that I obviously didn't get to watch Frank Robinson in 1961. But Frank Robinson, if you look at the numbers and look at the damage he did in comparison to others at the time, he was just about as good as anybody else. He was an outfielder for the Reds. He apparently could play third base on this card that uh, Ainge is showing us right here. An MVP from 1961 would be crazy. And I mean, just look at these stats. I feel like if you saw this card come into the game and this legend come into the game, you'd be like, I don't know much about him. And then he would get a card like this and you'd be like, yo, that guy, I want him, I want him. And so I'm excited to see him. He's again, one of the best hitters of all time. If you don't know much about him, you should absolutely look him up because he was a beast. Another card that could be a great new legend is Dave Winfield. I don't know if people know how good Dave Winfield was. Dave Winfield was like a superstar, obviously 3,000 hits with this card art right here. People like don't remember him. For whatever reason, he's kind of like lost relevancy, but holy was he great for the Twins. He was a really, really good player for the Jays and the Yankees, and he is like 
I think he's 6'7". He's like a big, strong dude. One of like the first prototypical like Aaron Judge home run types. And I would uh, love to see him in this game. He'd be really sick. And get his name back into back into the limelight. Now this right here by Sheen Customs is one of like the coolest overall things I've seen. Obviously the Cy Young card art is amazing. But then they're taking like the PSA 10 to go with this oh my god this is so cool if they incorporated psas with mlb to show that would be a really really cool way to do something i don't even know what that would mean but it would, it would be sick regardless especially if the cards could look like this johan santana johan santana was a triple crown winner he was almost a three time in a row cy young champion lefty pitcher would be amazing in this game pitch for the mets pitch for the twins he was one of my favorites of all time as a kid growing up i remember for i was rooting for the mets as a yankee fan just because of how cool this guy right here was i would love to see him in the game one of my favorite lefty pitchers of all time bring him in please now we have another switch hitter and switch hitters are one of the cooler things of all time and if you have them ever in the history of the game and they're pretty good you should put them in the game it's that simple lance berkman fits that bill outfielder and first baseman for the astros he was part of the triple b's over there berkman Vigio bagwell he is a switch hitter and he was a stud an absolute stud that again gets forgotten about as time goes on but he was really good and i would love to see him in this game you play really well especially early on in the year the speed wouldn't play up to later on but maybe he'll get a better version even in this maybe get a retro finest lance so lance berkman would be awesome another astros card but before the cheating scandal give me a phillies legend right here one of the best left-handed pitches pitchers of all time steve carlton another triple crown winner he was well before me obviously 1972 is when he got this triple crown but he is one of the best players in philadelphia phillies history coming off of their world series this would be a great time to drop some phillies legends because phillies fans are all in the baseball right now i know the eagles are doing really well but phillies fans loving baseball at the moment because their team is doing great and they just got trey turner give us steve carlton he would be one of the high b low a tier legends of the new game i think a lot of people that are older would really love it and new people would begin to see why he was so good if they gave him a card with these stats too holy this would be kind of a knockout fastball slider change up sinker and a screwball is maybe one of the best pitch misses i've ever seen the only other lefty with a screwball we know is fernando valenzuela and he is amazing could be kind of nice next up we have actually the best left-handed pitcher of all time i know i've said it a couple times already but this one's for real sandy koufax another triple crown Sandy had one of those crazy, crazy, crazy good primes where he just went on a run for a handful of years there, never letting up runs. He struck out so many people. 317 strikeouts in this season is unreal. And, dude, listen, if we're talking about a pitcher that we don't have in this game, we have Pedro now. We have Randy Johnson. We have Nolan Ryan. We need Sandy Koufax. Let's get him in the game. It'll make it feel way more comfortable, way more complete another lefty banger another great legend another switch hitter right here bernie williams i think he would be awesome in the game bernie was an amazing defensive outfielder and he hit for quite a bit of power this would be a really really good early on 99 again could be like a sneaky collection card maybe you put him for the american league collection maybe you put him somewhere else i don't know but bernie would be really cool yankee legend he was part of the dynasty team so obviously he was a really important player to winning multiple championships for the yankees and I think that this could be a guy that a lot of people really grow to love. Bernie is an absolute five-tool player that would play so well in the game. This one's kind of funny, but it is another Yankee. It's lefty CC Sabathia. If you can't tell, I think we need more left-handed pitchers in this game. I think almost all of them I've said are lefties, but it's true. I mean, we don't have enough good lefties outside of Randy Johnson. And then occasionally we'll get like a good outlier or like a good James Paxton or something like that. And Kershaw's are always okay, but we could use some more, some more great options on the left side. CC Sabathia would be a great one. He would probably have a great pitch mix. He threw hard, a Cy Young winner. He struck out so many people. And he was so likable on all the teams he was on. He was just a big, lovable dude that, for whatever reason, couldn't pitch when he was skinny. So you'd have to put back on weight. This is an alternate cover from a couple years ago since I couldn't find somebody's custom art for CC. 
but I thought this cover was kind of sick and it was a good way to show him off. So CC would be awesome. Let's add him to the game. And the last guy that I would love added to the game. I feel like somebody's made a custom card of this, but I couldn't find it. I didn't really feel like searching anymore because I kind of just wanted to make this video. I was getting very excited for it will be to show 23. Dan Quisenberry. He's the only reliever on this list. And look at this arm slot he throws at. Dan was an amazing reliever with well over 230 saves in his career. And look at where he did it from. He was not a flamethrower by any means. Obviously, when you're throwing from here, you're not. But Dan was for the Royals, and he was a stud. Apparently, he was a very good professional. That's what the streets are saying. The streets is in just, you know, some random baseball podcast that I listen to. David Cohn's talked about him a handful of times in his podcast and some Yankee streams is, or games as well. So Dan Quisenberry would be a really cool guy. I would love to get more old school relievers that were dominant, even if they were dominant for like two to three years. I would love that. A couple more that come to mind were like Brad Lidge, even Tug McGraw back in the day would be really cool. So some more of those guys, Sparky Lyle even, to make relievers more relevant and they're not just whoever's good that year is going to be the meta relievers. I don't know. It feels like something that could be really fun. But that is going to conclude today's video. These are a bunch of legends that I think should be coming to the game. Of course, we I want all the other guys like the Sosas and Maguires all those guys but these are some of the lesser known ones maybe they're not lesser known maybe they are i'm not sure but i really like them all and i would love to see them in mlb to show 23 and hopefully we get some game news around the corner so that we can start to get really hyped up as this year comes to a close i'll see you guys next time in the video if you like it down below like and subscribe and i'll see you next time peace